Celebrating the holidays always makes me think about a ton of people piled in the kitchen, laughing, eating, and that's what I love the most. Hi, I'm Ellen Bennett, the founder and CEO of Headley and Bennett, and today we're making chilaquiles frittata and tia's Mexican ponche. I'm half Mexican and half English, so I grew up always eating these delicious, beautiful, colorful meals in Mexico. Ponche makes me think of the holidays. It smells like the holidays, it tastes like the holidays, it's fun like the holidays. I love seeing my aunts and uncles sticking their hands into their cups and just chewing on the sugar cane, and everybody just becomes like little kids. Kids. And every day that you heat it up one more time, they get more and more gooey and it just gets better. While I've let my bunches start going, it's gonna take about 30 minutes. I'm gonna run over and start making the chilaquiles frittata. If you have any eggshells fall in there, which don't even worry about, it happens to the best of us, you just scoop it out with half of an eggshell and it comes right out. It's kind of amazing. The inspiration behind my chilaquiles frittata is that I have six chickens at home and they always make tons and tons of eggs for us. Anytime I have people over, I just whip up a quick frittata and I like to have some crunch in it. So I decided, why don't I combine my frittata with chilaquiles? I like to start my frittata with olive oil and butter, which are just the greatest flavors of all time and they make food so beautiful, creamy, and nice and spongy. Frittata is basically a quiche without a crust. And chilaquiles is essentially a bunch of tortilla chips that you pour tons of salsa, cheese, cream, onion, cilantro on top of. And it's a delicious breakfast that's super, super old school in Mexico. So I combined them and made a new dish called chilaquiles frittata. Take a little spatula and start to help it come off the sides so that it can get a little bit of air ventilation going on. You have something super fluffy and light combined with a crunchy surprise from your tortilla chips. Making ponche is so much fun and such a good party trick because you can throw it on the stove while you're making everything else and before you know it, it's completely ready to go and it makes your entire house smell delicious. I always love to throw down butcher paper on the table because A, it kind of serves like a tablecloth and B, it helps protect your table from 800 people piling into your house. You get to just write on the actual table and then people know what they're eating, what they need the garnish for. If they want to smash up the salsa anymore, they can take the salsa smasher and they can go to town. Making people feel comfortable sometimes can be hard and when everything is too perfect, people get nervous. They don't want to mess anything up. So laying out all the food on a table like this just makes it feel warm and cozy while still adding to the style of the table. Your food and your garnishes are functioning as color and elements that just make it look better anyway. Great for Instagram, great for an overhead shot, and great for your belly. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It is so good. I hope you guys feel super inspired to throw a little holiday party together. Make it a brunch, make it easy. Now I hope you get out there in the world and cook up something magical in the kitchen too. There's so much fun things to be done. It's only a matter of getting yourself in there and making it happen. Oh yes!